Now let's say we want to go and transpose this sphere. Um, well, we got to go and select it. So what we've done so far is we touched a little bit on subtools. And one thing you can do is you can tap on the name here. And the reason I'm saying tap on the name is because there are going to be some things we tap on in here that we don't want to tap on when we start organizing some tools. So already up front, I want you to get in the good habit of if you want to select the subtool in the subtool menu, tap on the name. Just my, my suggestion to you. Uh, another thing you can do is you have this cylinder select. If you want to select this subtool over here, hold down Alt and just tap on it in the screen. So as long as you have Alt held down and you're tapping, you can actually tap any subtool in your scene. That comes in handy when you have a lot of subtools, and I'll show when we get to subtool organization, I'll show you that. So now let's say we want to transpose this sphere. Uh, if I hit W, I can go ahead and I can click and drag on the object. If I hold down Shift, I can snap it to nothing out here, and it'll be a straight line. Uh, if I hit W, we can scale it non-uniformly in the Y direction or this direction if we'd like. And if you want to center this anchor point, you can just tap that circle and that'll shoot it right to the center and this one actually goes straight up and down by default so you can go ahead and squash it this way or tap the red squash it this way or tap the blue and squash it this way oops so uh, this all the stuff we already talked about now let's talk about scale which you've already kind of done if you hit scale up here or you uh, hit E you can uh, click and drag and it will scale the object uniformly from that point you clicked so if I click here and move off, and then I hold down shift and scale this outer one, it'll scale uniformly. If you scale this middle one, I'm not even sure what that's doing. I, don't, I never use it. And if you scale this inside one, it scales like towards your other point. Honestly, I'll be honest with you, all I ever use for scale is clicking and then just scaling from that anchor point. Now, what if you don't want to scale from where you clicked? What if you want to scale from the inside of the object? click this white circle that'll shoot your anchor point right to the middle of the object and then you can uniformly scale from the center of the object or if you want to manually place that uh, you can click and then this anchor point grab this outer circle of the anchor point not the inner one because that's going to modify your object you grab the outer circle and you can put that wherever you want and you can hold down shift and snap it to different views so you can manually place it in the center or you can manually place it like near the top if you want to and when we get into like using transpose lines like bones, this will be a lot more obvious. But um, So we've got the anchor point set where we want. I can hold down shift and I've got scale and I can just uniformly scale from that anchor point. That's the basics of scale. Uh, rotate. Let's go ahead and select rotate. You can select it up here. You can hit R. If we alt tap our cylinder, we're back to our cylinder now. Uh, so I've got R selected, which is rotate. I can tap this top point and rotate just like all the other ones has three circles you can play with. So let's just play with them. Uh, if, we, if we tap this top one, we will rotate. This anchor point will stay the same, and the object will rotate around that anchor point, which is totally cool. If we do the middle one, it'll rotate from this anchor point. It'll rotate down that axis that we have selected. So it's going to go straight through that object here, and then just rotate around that anchor point, which is cool. And then this bottom one, honestly, I'm not even sure what it does. OK, it takes your anchor point and then rotates that one around. I don't use this one very much because usually I want to like know where the anchor point is and then just rotate around that. Uh, but this is totally useful too if you want that anchor point to be it actually rotates around this as an anchor point and then you take this point and just rotate it around. So all, of, all three of the rotates are pretty useful. I use them quite a bit uh, to do things. And just like any other transpose line, you can snap it to the side. You can uh, hold down shift and give it a rotate line. You can take this middle ring, outer middle outer ring, and position the whole line, or the outer ring of this one and move this, or the outer ring of this one and move this, or the outer ring of the middle line and move the whole thing. So it's kind of up to you. And then if you want to, you can grab this middle one with rotate, and it'll rotate down that axis, or rotate around there. Now, usually with rotate, you want to know what your anchor point is, like I was saying. So it's like, you know what? Let's go ahead and make this a long arm that I want to rotate around the top of the sphere. So what I'm going to do is, with move, click the bottom vert, drag straight up, hold down shift, and then I'm going to hit W and hold down shift and just kind of drag this top one up and I'm going to make it a long arm. Now I want to make this a smaller, skinnier arm. So what I'm going to do is tap this bottom point, hit E to scale. I'm going to uniformly scale this down and I'm going to have to click drag quite a few times to get this to work. And if you want to, you can actually drag this bottom circle out a little bit and give you a little bit more leeway. 
Or if you're in a hurry, you can go over here to deformation and just do um, size in the XYZ and just scale that down a couple times. So now we have a skinny arm. Now I need to get this thing out of my sphere now. So I'm going to hit W, click and drag anywhere. It doesn't really matter because I'm just going to grab this middle one and just move it to the top. I'm going to go to the top here. And it's like, you know what? I need to move it to the center of that cylinder there. And now I can move this down. Now if I want to rotate the cylinder from the bottom, what I can do is turn on transpa transparent and then ghost. And then with W, I can just tap the bottom of my cylinder. And the reason I do that is if I don't have transparent or ghost on, if I tap, it's going to want to find the normal of that sphere that's showing. I don't want that. I want transparent on and ghost on so I can actually tap the bottom of my cylinder. And now I can turn transparent off. Now with W selected, I can either hold this down and like scale it from that point, or I can hit E, go to scale mode, and scale it uniformly from that point, or I can go into rotate mode, and I can rotate it around that point, or with rotate select I can grab this middle one and rotate it down the axis on that point. So all sorts of things you can do once you get comfortable uh, with transpose.